If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. Your support is greatly appreciated and it allows me to continue making more content. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, my sister, my frenemy. It's a sister act as the goddess next door and the devilish diva team up in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, my sister, my frenemy in paperback and e-readers everywhere. One of my viewers sent me a link to an article about a YouTuber who was known for playing practical jokes winding up getting shot and killed when he tried to pull a practical joke on some people in Tennessee. And this is another case of play stupid games and win effed up prizes because in this case this YouTuber decided to pull his practical joke where he took out a butcher knife and pretended to rob someone in the conceal carry state of Tennessee. Now, in states where people have concealed carry and open carry permits, people are allowed to carry firearms with them and carry them in their cars. And most of the people who have concealed carry permits, what they do is if they see a threat coming at them, they're going to take out their weapon and they're going to use it against the threat. But your practical jokers, they were only thinking about the YouTube views they were going to get and the laughs they were going to get from pulling this practical joke when they couldn't see that they weren't the ones who were going to get a last laugh in a state with a concealed carry permit. Because while they were so busy caught up in the setup and thinking about all the wonderful YouTube views they were going to get setting up this robbery prank, they didn't understand the reality that people deal with as related to the concealed carry permit states. Now, this individual decided, hey, I'm going to go to this state of Tennessee, where again, there's a legal case of concealed carry and open carry as related to firearms, and he's going to go up there with butcher knives pretending to rob someone, not understanding that once you put somebody in fear like this in a state like that, what will happen is if that person reacts by taking out their loaded firearm, which they are legally licensed to carry and put several bullets in you, they're the ones who are going to be the last one standing and you're the one who is going to wind up suffering as a result. And this is all that prankster's fault because this prankster didn't understand that many people in places where they have concealed carry don't buy into that brand of humor. Now, I myself, as a comedy writer and a guy who likes to make a good joke here and there, know where the line is as related to humor. And as a comedy writer, I know there is a difference between funny and cruel. And I personally believe it is extremely cruel to go out here with a weapon and pretend to rob someone and believe that this is in some way humorous and some way entertaining. Because as I see it, true comedy is something everybody can laugh with you in a situation. And when somebody goes out here and takes out a weapon and pretends to rob someone, this is a cruel joke where somebody is laughing at someone and expressing nothing but disrespect for them. And it seems like the people in the state of Tennessee, the 23-year-old man he was trying to play the joke on, was not going to take being disrespected. And he took his respect by pulling out his firearm and then using it to kill this individual who he believed was a threat. And it goes back to an old episode of He-Man I once watched where Man-at-Arms at the end of the moral of the story said that practical jokes were not a good thing to play and that in some cases somebody could wind up losing an eye or, a, or get injured in a certain way back in that old He-Man episode. And in that episode, that was something that resonated with me for years. And here we are in a case as related to somebody losing their life all because 
they didn't understand that there's a way, there's a place and time for humor and certain jokes just aren't funny at all. I mean, there are certain things as a comedy writer I just don't touch as related to humor. And I know that as a victim of violent crime during when I was about 16 years old, I don't really think it's funny to go out here and do harm to someone because that's just not something anybody should really do. Now, when I look at this whole situation, again, it's another case of play stupid games and win effed up prizes. And sadly, this 20-year-old YouTuber wound up with his YouTube career ended because he decided to go out here and play a stupid game in a state where they have open carry and he won the effed up prize of a casket and winding up six feet under. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my SJS Direct publications, like the ISIS series, the E-Steam series, or the John Haynes series, you can find those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, the beauty myth. Learn the beauty secrets of the goddess next door in this action-packed Isis series adventure. Get Isis, the beauty myth at online booksellers everywhere today.